Hello there. I am going to provide an overview as what goes into the execution process at the Agile team, program, solution, and portfolio levels. My name is Vinod Sinha and I'm based in Seattle with 20 plus years of IT experience managing people, programs, and products. So let's dive in. I want you to have four key takeaways from this video. First, actual work is done at the Agile team level using Scrum XP and or Kanban method with, within an iteration, a two weeks time box. Second, at the program level, multiple Agile teams form an Agile release train and execute the work within a program increment, a eight to 10, 12 weeks time box. Third, in case of large solution implementation, multiple Agile release trains and suppliers form a solution train and execute work within a program increment to deliver large solution. Fourth, multiple development value streams are coordinated at the portfolio level to deliver epics. SAFE combines the power of Scrum and XP practices to use Scrum XP method for Agile team to carry out the work in an iteration. An Agile team is made of five to 11 people, including product owner, Scrum master and team members. And iteration starts with iteration planning during which the Agile team determines how much they can commit from the team backlog to deliver, which becomes iteration backlog. During the execution, the team builds and tests the new functionality. A daily standup or DSU is held to coordinate their activities, share the progress being made and raise blocking issues. During the iteration review, the team demonstrates a tested increment of value to the product owner and other stakeholders to receive feedback and make adjustments. Following the iteration review, the team participates in the system demo to give an integrated view of the new feature for the most recent iteration delivered by all teams in the Agile release train. During the iteration retrospective process, the team evaluates its process and reviews any improvement storage it had from the previous iteration. Before we dive into the execution at the program level, let's first understand Agile release train and continuous delivery pipeline. An Agile release train is a team of Agile teams. These Agile teams are organized around development value stream. SAFE proposes several ways of organizing around value stream, such as solution, or organizing around set of features or around specific steps in customer journey. Assume that the digital transformation initiative has been undertaken for the order to cash operational value stream and assume that you need three key solutions. First for order management and execution. Second for invoice and payment processing and third for accounting. Therefore, you would need three agile teams that would engage in defining, building, testing, and deploying the solution. Thus, you organize around value streams that is most efficient. The goal here is to reduce wastes such as hands-offs and deliver faster with high quality while directly interacting with your immediate customers. In a functional organization, developers work with developers, testers work with testers, system architects and engineers work with each other, operations work with themselves. These create silos because of which the value does not flow quickly without the intervention of their managers. Therefore, agile release train applies system thinking and builds a cross-functional team to facilitate the flow of value from ideation through deployment. This creates a far leaner organization that is self-organizing and self-managing while traditional daily tasks and traditional project management are no longer required. A very important point. The agile release train runs through continuous delivery pipeline to follow the loops for exploring, integrating, deploying, and releasing value constantly. Continuous delivery pipeline has four key components as shown in the four boxes. Continuous exploration starts with capturing idea or hypothesizing to refining by collaborating and researching to synthesizing by organizing the ideas into a vision, a roadmap and a prioritized program backlog. 
Continuous integration includes committing the code and components to version control, creating deployable binaries and merging to development branches into the trunk, testing the solution and hosting and validating the solution in a staging environment. Continuous deployment includes deploying the solution to a production environment, verifying the solution, monitoring for production issues and responding quickly to production issues. Release on demand includes releasing the solution either incrementally or all at once, stabilizing the solution, measuring to quantify the intended value, and deciding next step based on information gathered to prepare for the next loop through continuous delivery pipeline. Now we have understood the Agile release train and continuous delivery pipeline. Let's take a look at activities at the program increment level. A program increment eight to 12 weeks long starts with PI planning, which is so critical and safe that it is said that you are not doing safe if you are not holding PI planning events regularly. That is every eight to 12 weeks. This is a two days event with set agenda during which the PI objectives are determined. Release train engineer, also known as chief scrum master, holds a weekly synchronization meeting. Similarly, Product owners hold weekly synchronization meeting for aligning the solution their agile teams are designing and developing. System demo provides working software in an integrated environment to the extent possible. After the demo, work for next PI planning starts. Inspect and adapts therefore includes system demo, quantitative and qualitative measurement and retrospective and problem solving workshop. On the right hand side is an example of PI objectives. The planned value is sum of business values given to the committed features at the end of PI planning event. Uncommitted features values are not added to the planned value. And these are not the work that gets done if the team has extra time. Rather, these are because of unknowns or additional risks, the team has not committed them. However, if an uncommitted work item is completed, then their business value does get added to the actual value so that we can do the assessment against the plan value. PI planning is a two day face to face event, but it may be extended to three or four days if stakeholders are attending virtually. The input to PI planning are the business context presented by the business owner and roadmap and vision as well as top 10 features from program backlog presented by the product manager. System architect presents architecture, vision, and development practices. Release train engineer presents the planning process and expected outcomes. Product teams then go out for breakout session to come up with draft plan review. Management then reviews and addresses challenges such as the scope or resource constraint or dependencies and then day two is for making adjustment to the plan and having breakout session for coming up with the final plan review. Program risks are addressed using ROAM, which is addressing risk by either resolving, owning, accepting, or mitigating them. The output of this event is PI objectives. As you can see, all the teams, they have their own PI objectives that accumulated to, that accumulate to the overall program PI objectives. And program board, which consists of features, dependencies, and milestones, iteration by iteration, and team by team. This shows the complete view of how the work is executed at the program level. Product manager, works with business owners keeping customer at the center of every activity and system architect to maintain and prioritize the program backlog prior to the PI planning event. Release train engineer facilitates agile release train events. Agile team on the agile release train design, build, test and deploy the incremental solution iteration by iteration. They follow the principle of develop on cadence and release on demand. While Agile team deploys the code in production using toggle switch, the product manager works with the business owners or stakeholders to determine when to release the solution to customer with minimum efforts. 
you may notice at the end of the program increment there is an IP iteration which SAFE proposes one full iteration that is two weeks of time to dedicate for innovation and planning activities. SAFE promotes innovation to bring creative ideas into the program backlog by researching, collaborating, training. Early, the built-in quality is another core value that SAFE promotes by focusing on quality in the flow or focusing on architecture and design quality, code quality, system quality, and release quality. A solution train aligns multiple agile release trains and suppliers so that it can, it can coordinate the development of solutions within a program increment. And it follows the same cadence as program increment. In case of large solution, the PI planning events for all agile release trains happen ideally at the same time. Therefore, pre and post PI planning events are conducted to gain alignment and to create a single plan across all trains and manage the dependencies between the trains. At the end of each PI, solution demo is held, which is an integrated solution across all agile release trains and suppliers. Inspect and adapt is held to improve the process for the entire solution. Finally, release of either entire solution or part of the solution happens as per the release management governance. At the portfolio level, coordination among value streams is required so that opportunity from the interconnection between value streams may be exploited. Cadence and synchronization become very critical to determine the rate and timing at which new portfolio level work can be added into the system. Now, any new work causes substantial interruption because it is so large. It causes task switching, realignment, and it causes movement of people to new objectives. Any EPIC that is not ready for PI planning must wait for the next PI, even though capacity may be available. Similarly, cadence-based integration is encouraged, meaning partial integration is done throughout the program increment when full integration is not po possible. The idea is the more frequently we integrate, the faster we learn. Deploying and releasing requires additional consideration from DevOps, shared services, and system teams across value streams because these releases are huge. So we need help to integrate the solution into a portfolio level release. Finally, the portfolio roadmap integrates solution roadmaps and their milestones into a more comprehensive view to communicate the larger picture to the enterprise and portfolio stakeholders. So these are the execution activities you have seen at different levels. Now there is one more important aspect is, that is maintaining Kanban system. SAFE provides an option of managing work using Kanban methods, which gives a visual representation of work items in each queue and the progress being made as the work item moves from one queue to another. While Scrum XP is a great way of managing work at the Agile team level, Kanban can be very helpful in managing work at the program solution and portfolio levels. Kanban system improves the flow of value through the continuous delivery pipeline by visualizing and limiting whip size work in pro pro progress, reducing the batch sizes of work items and managing queue lengths. Overlaid, overloading whip takes away the attention to the immediate work and causes delay for new items. Reducing batch sizes improves the flow as smaller work items get done quickly. Queue length refers to the duration for which a work item is sitting in a queue. Therefore, reducing queue length will improve the flow. Here is the portfolio level Kanban system, which an EPIC starts its, or where an EPIC starts its journey from the funnel queue and gets pulled into the next queue and then subsequent queues where certain activities are performed. The portfolio Kanban is very important to align strategy and execution. And you do it by identifying, governing, and communicating the most strategic initiatives, that is epics. So I hope that you have understood how an agile team executes their work iteration by iteration 
as well as the work being done at the program solution and portfolio level during every program increment. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and like this video. Please feel free to contact me at the email provided in here. Be agile and stay safe.